so I have added some practical game here with another photoshop tutorial for you guys um this is going to be how to make a watermark so yeah let's get started so first one you want to do is go to new in photoshop of course and set it to 1920 by 1080p because you want it to be an hd one right and the uh, background content should be transparent so you don't need the advanced tab just click ok let it load for a moment there we go we have a background like a canvas now uh, what you want to do is um for this uh, purpose i'm for this um watermark i'm going to use um, just let me set For this, um, I'm going to use Quartzo Demo uh, font. You can easily find it on Google. Yeah, have you heard about that site? You can search stuff up. Lol. Yeah. Okay. So what you wanna search is Quartzo font. Yeah. There we go. Click the first link. Oops. I got a problem. Let me okay. um, give me a moment. Okay, sorry about the delay, guys. Give it a moment. There we go. Uh, so you will be brought in front of this page. So this is a really cool font. You want to press download and just place it. Yeah. So that will take a second or two to download. My internet is slow. Okay, just get out of that. And um, you want to open this this file, the last file. That is the true type font file. Just double click it to press this install. Okay. Okay, now you close this all. And now you will have the code so demo. So yeah. So now you will type in your channel's name. For example, mine's impractical gamer, but the impractical gamer as you can oops. Color should be white, guys. Remember that color should be white. Um, so for example, my channel's name is Impractical Gamer, so I can type in Impractical Gamer, but that will look too large on my video. So I'm going to reduce it uh, to Impractical. You want to place it on the top or wherever you want it in the video according to that position. You press that check mark now you go to layers now you right click it and go to blending options so now you're going to confuse yourself because there are a lot of options first you want to go to stroke um i can set it to 24 yeah 24 sounds good or 25 yeah 25 works out too okay there we go 27 is the perfect one so now you can apply a gradient one and reduce it to 10 that looks a metal type effect uh, you can add the outer glow or the drop shadow drop shadow is a good idea the distance is zero the opacity is 100 percent the spread is about um three yeah yeah okay maybe a little bit this one looks good. Yeah, just about that. And when you're satisfied, press OK. Now you want to shift this to over here. And you want to reduce the opacity. So maybe set it to 84, 80 somewhere. Around 81. Yeah, that looks good and yeah you're set to go basically now you go uh now you gotta right click it again and this time you have to rasterize it 
and now you can flatten the image oops sorry do not flatten the image my bad guys now you can save it like that um just go to file um save as uh change the format to um i say jpeg yeah so i'm going to save it on my desktop just click save and hit ok now it's on my desktop guys um i will show you how to um put it in your video so i'll see you guys what's up guys i'm back and now we're going to add it in the video so let me just import a clip so what i'm going to do is i'll take a video so in case i'll get my this no, not this one i'm sorry i'll take my this video and i'll just um yeah just, just grab it like that and now i want to add the watermark so i'll right click and add video track now i will go to import again this time it's on the desktop so click that okay now you can just drag it there you go guys oops um, that's a little too big so that was it up for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe to for some more tutorials and hopefully some minecraft again because I'm tired of doing some tutorials and I really need a break. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Press that like button, press that subscribe button if this video helped. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is me, Practical Gamer, signing out.